nothing much different about today, just a lot of work as usual, so I'm going to get stuck into that. Um, trying to get some more videography work, at the moment it's just been a lot of web and graphic work, but what I really enjoy is videography, so, you know, it's even better, it'd be even better for the vlogs because I get to take you with me and show me, show you what I'm doing and all that kind of stuff, so I'm trying to get some more videography work, so, hitting up some clients and asking them if they need video stuff done, because <coughs> um, sitting in here all day, I kind of get over it. In other news, this is a little brochure for the land uh, development that we've where we might have purchased our land, so we're going to have a read through that today. It's got all the rules and stuff about building the house and all that stuff, which kind of sucks because some of the rules are a bit silly. Um, like one of them is you can't have colour bond fences, it has to be timber. So for those who don't know what colour bond is, it's like the metal, uh, the metal fences that look pretty good in my opinion and they last forever, whereas timber you've got to paint it every, you know, three to five years. You have to paint it, it will replace it when it gets damaged. So anyway, it's kind of stupid, but that's their rules, so that's cool. So I've got that to go through. We're really excited about the whole house and land thing. It's awesome, but we're still not 100%. Look at this. I get these missed calls all day long. Sorry. Missed calls all day long from these weird places. Look at this at the top. Mexico. I get them from Sweden, Mexico, UK, US, all day long. I don't know what they are. I never answer them because they seem dodgy. Anyway, so the house and land thing is really, really exciting. We're getting into it. We're going to see them on Saturday to choose colors and color schemes for the house and things like that. But it's still not 100% because um, it'll be a week on Sunday that we're, we kind of put a little deposit down. But we do still get a week after that to decide whether we are still going ahead. So unless we find something different or things aren't going to plan, then we still can bail out. But pretty sure we're going to go ahead if everything goes smoothly. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, just gonna get stuck into some work for the day. Gonna go play with Kimber later. It's a pretty nice day. It's not the sunniest day, but it's quite warm, so it should be good. Well, you don't like the rain? Come on. Bertie? You're up yourself, aren't you? She's so up herself. She's such a princess, she won't go on the grass because it's wet. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Hey, little chicken. How are you? Come on. Alright, so now I'm just going to head to Katie's. Probably just gonna watch a couple more episodes of Narcos. If you haven't watched it, definitely watch it. It's a great series. So one thing I've realized that I thought I'd share with you guys is that when you work for yourself, I've done a video in the past about uh, the good things about working for yourself, the bad things. And I suppose one of the bad things I think I forgot to mention, or I might've mentioned it quickly, but it was more so about like motivation. Like when you're at home, it's hard to, it can be hard to work the whole day when you've got so many temptations around like, got the PS4, the drone, just camera stuff. There's so many things that I can muck around with instead of doing work. It can be hard some days. Today was hard. It was about 3 or 3.30 three or three thirty, and I was like, wouldn't mind playing the PS4 for a bit. But I did have work to do, so I'm like, nah, nah, I'll push through till 5. So that's one of the harder things is you got to sometimes pretend that you have a boss that, you know, you can't leave or you can't do anything else till you're finished at least finish work for the day or you finish at whatever time you decide. So over the past week I've seen a lot of stuff regarding the iPhone 7. What were they thinking removing the headphone jack or earphone jack, whatever you want to call it? It's... I know you get an adapter with it and that's their reasoning. Oh, you get an adapter, it doesn't matter. You can use their headphones, the wireless ones, or you can 
use any pair with the adapter. The point is though, if I go to Katie's house, I go home, wherever I go, I know there's a pair of headphones that I can use or earphones that I can use. And I'm not gonna bring the adapter everywhere. Like right now I know that if I go to, if I head to Katie's house, there's about 20 pairs of headphones or earphones that I can use there if I need to. If I forget my adapter, it's all over. So I don't know why they removed it. I don't know if it's to fit more in the phone or I don't think it's much thinner. I don't know, it's silly. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. It's funny how they think it's all innovative and they're going on and on about it like it's a good thing, but I've not read one single person say that it's a good thing. So, or that they think it's gonna be good. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it's pretty stupid. All right, guys, I'm just heading home. Gonna end the vlog right here. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, don't forget the GoPro giveaway. The link's in the description. I'll see you tomorrow.